Dijon hope to leapfrog Lille in the table with victory at the Stade Gaston Gerard. The host started two places and two points behind 14th place Losk, but began confident after having scored in their previous seven top flight games, the second best run in the club's history. Lille are unbeaten in their two outings in 2017, but have recorded just one win in their past 11 matches on the road, eight ending in defeat. Well, they almost took the lead here. Rene Lopez managing to lift it over Baptiste René. The keeper doing well to tap it away in the second attempt. Vincent and Yema at the other end made light work of Dijon captain Cedric Verro's headed effort. Sadly for Lopez, his evening was called short, replaced by Morgan Almaventano after the half hour. 31 year old almost made perfect entrance but shooting straight down the neck of René 31 year old's last six appearances have been as a sub Lille had been victorious in the club's previous three top flight meetings scoring five without conceding Dijon desperate to change that fact but needed to do more to threaten in Yema's goal There was more purpose shown by Dijon once the second half got underway. Luis Dione always one to put in 100%. He almost got a bit fortunate here, looking for the cross. It ended up on top of Inyema. The Nigerian keeper doing brilliantly to just tap that one over the bar. The crossbar then came to his rescue. Deflected free kick from Marvin Martin had him backpedaling. Still would have got a hand to it. Florent Barmon, a member of the Lille side that did the domestic double under Rudy Garcia in 2011, also failed to beat his former teammate with that stinging rising drive. Well, Rene had been a spectator for the most part, but suddenly had to be alert. Janus Sankari was the match winner in this fixture back in August. But his defected looping effort, managing to go over René's bar. In the end, a frustrating draw for Olivier Dal Olio's men, despite a first ever point taken off Lille, who had their goalkeeper to thank for a share of the spoils.